activate Fluffy Station. It's time, get up and shout. I wonder what we'll learn about Flippy Wonders. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Tabs, that bouncy castle is out of this world. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. And there's the moon! <laughs> yeah! Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, I never tried it myself, being a rock, but let me see if I can just get up. All right, then let's bounce. I'm light as a feather up here. I never knew I could have been having so much fun. Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. Why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity. It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky. Keep on bouncing, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> it's a T-Rex. <laughs> It's me, Blippi. Today we're gonna dig for dinosaur bones. Yeah! Do you wanna come along? Let's go in the Blippi Mobile. We're gonna use our excavator arm to dig for dinosaur bones. Yeah! We need to find eight bones to build an entire dinosaur. <laughs> I'm so excited. I love digging with the excavator arm. That way my arms don't get tired. <laughs> and we can stay in the comfort of the Blippi Mobile. Whoa, we found our first bone already. Yeah. <gasps> Look, a second bone. We're on the right track. <laughs> awesome, we found our third bone. Hey Debo, what kind of dino do you think we'll find today? <laughs> found bone number four. All right. Whoa, it's bone number five. That one's a big one. Awesome, we found our sixth bone. We're so close to finding all eight bones. <laughs> Look, it's the seventh bone. I'm so excited to find out what kind of dinosaur we're digging up. Where is that bone? Oh, bone, where are you? <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Parasaurolophus. <laughs> let's go dig over here. Yeah, let's try digging over here. <gasps> we found the eighth bone. Look, it 
it's a pterodactyl! Yeah! Pterodactyls are so cool and so big. All right, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks so much for digging with me. I had so much fun. Bye-bye. Land ho! Hide our treasure, first mate Debo. I love playing pirates. Yar, me too. What is it, Debo? Whoa! Wow! It's a treasure map! Hmm, I wonder, how do you find buried treasure? I can help. X is where the treasure is buried. So cool! But how do we get to the X? First, we need to figure out where we are. Do you see anything you recognize from the map? Hey! That elephant-shaped rock looks just like the one on the map. Now you see those dashes? According to the map scale, each dash is equal to one step. Hmm, there's five dashes, so that's five steps. Right! Huh? And according to my compass watch, we need to walk five steps north, which is this way. One, two, three, four, five. The map says we need to climb up the tree. How are we going to do that? Look, a rope ladder. Nice work, first mate Debo. Treasure, here we come. Whoa, a secret door. But how do we open it? This hopscotch grid is on the map. <gasps> I've got it! Blippi, try hopping only on the blue squares. All right! We did it! Let's go! X marks the spot! <laughs> Woohoo! We found the treasure! And I got the answer to my question. How do you find buried treasure? To find buried treasure, you need a map. And to follow the directions written on it to find the X. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Let's see what's inside. The Great Big Book of Curiosity? Whoa! What a curious kind of treasure. Huh? Yeah! Whee! Whee! Yay! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Who were they? Let's go find out! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. Stay on the road! Oh, hey! It's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <coughs> Today, we're gonna learn about all the different things that the Blippi Mobile can do. You wanna come along? Right! Let's go! Let's get up this hill! No! No! I guess we didn't charge the Blippi Mobile enough. <laughs> we're rolling backwards so fast! Ho ho ho! All right, Debo, let's keep on driving. Hey, Debo, do you hear that? It sounds like a fire truck siren. It is a fire truck siren. Ho ho ho! Here it comes! Fire trucks are so cool. They're big red vehicles with ladders and hoses and sirens, and they help put out fires. Hey, Debo, do you see any garbage? <laughs> Me neither. It looks like the garbage trucks have been picking all the garbage up. I love garbage trucks. They're big, 
big vehicles with two arms that pick up big dumpsters and pour all the garbage into the back. Yeah! They go around the town picking up all the garbage, keeping it nice and clean. They're the real heroes. Yeah! Hey, you know what my favorite vehicle is other than the Blippi Mobile? <coughs> Right! It's an excavator! An e Do you know what an excavator is? It's a big construction vehicle with an arm and a boom, and it's super great for digging things! Let's try it out! Oh yeah! Alright, let's keep driving! Wow! We learned about so many vehicles today. We learned about the Blippi Mobile, and excavators, and fire trucks, and garbage trucks. Hey, what's your favorite vehicle? Awesome! Well, thanks for hanging out with me today. We'll see you next time. Bye bye Phew, it's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! Woohoo! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge sparkly. Sherry, are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the Blippi Mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right, which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because... Popsicles will melt if they get too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. Hello, it's me, Flippy. Today, we're going to go on a nice drive in the Blippi Mobile. Yeah! Summoning Blippi Mobile! Yeah! Oh, hey, Debo. Are you excited to go on a drive with me? <coughs> What's that, Debo? <coughs> we should go to the Dino Dig site and try out the new excavator arm attachment? <coughs> That's a great idea! Yeah! Let's go! All right! Watch out for the garbage can! Whoopsies! <laughs> All right, we're almost turning onto the main street. You've got to look both ways before you cross the street. Here we go. I'm so excited. It's a perfect day for a nice drive. I hope we can make it up this big hill. <laughs> we're going to make it. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. 
I hope we're going the right way. I think I zigged when I should have zagged. <laughs> but let's see where this goes. Which way now, Debo? <coughs> What's that, Debo? We should stop and ask for directions? <laughs> You're right. But now I think I know where we're going. <coughs> hey, Debo, why don't you put on the radio? Driving is a great opportunity to listen to some music. Oh yeah! I love this song! Okay, straight ahead to the Dino Dig Site. I can see it just up ahead. All right, we're at the Dino Dig Site. I'm gonna need the excavator arm. Equipping excavator arm. Oh yeah, let's go dig for some treasure. Okay, let's dig some holes. We found some gemstones, so many colors. Yeah. Here we go, digging down. All right, let's dig another hole. What's that, Debo? We should go and check out other areas of the dino dig site. All right, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That road is sure is bumpy. <laughs> but that was a lot of fun. Debo, more treasure! I love treasure, almost as much as I love driving around with my friends. Wow, what a fun day. That was a great dig. Thanks so much for joining me. All right, see you next time. Bye bye Mmm, <laughs> salad. Oh, thanks, Tabs. Didn't know this lettuce was stuck in my teeth. I guess a toothbrush would help. Hmm, I wonder, how do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? <coughs> Great idea! We can go meet a toothbrush in a mouth. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Let's go explore! Activate Flippy Station! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. It's time to shrink down and go into a mouth. Shrinking down! We're inside a mouth. You're right, Tabs. We need a way to clean these teeth. Would a brush help? Hi, I'm Bill Brushy. And you are? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. I want to find out how to use a toothbrush to clean teeth. Well, you're asking the right brush. Hop on, and I'll show you the best way to clean your teeth. All right. Hey, Bill Brushy, is that toothpaste on your brush part? Yes, sir. It helps keep teeth healthy and food free. Okay, now here's how to brush your teeth. Let's go to the front first. So, small circles on every tooth. Whoa! Okay, that's the front done. Let's go to the back now. We turned, we flipped. Little circles round and round. All right, let's make some more. Circles, circles, circles. These teeth are the molars. I call them the Chew Crew, since they do most of the work. I know, Tabs. Toothbrushing is a wild ride. Wow! I think I have the answer to my question. How do you use a toothbrush to clean your teeth? It cleans by brushing the front, back, and in between of all teeth in little circle motions. And that pushes all the food out from between the teeth and makes them nice and clean. A 
upload answer tabs. Thanks for your help, Blippi and Tabs. Remember to brush twice a day for two minutes each time for super sparkling tea. We will. Thanks for letting us ride along, Brushy. Bye-bye. Hello, it's me, Blippi. Welcome to my clubhouse at Curiosity Cove. Can you help me find some things to count? Great, let's go. Ooh, rainbow ramp. One hop, two hops, three hops, four hops, five hops, whoa, six hops, seven hops, yeah. There are seven colors in the rainbow. It's so cool. Okay. Let's keep going up and see what we can find to count. Woo, the shape rug. How many shapes? There's one, two, three shapes. This one's a circle, <laughs> yeah. Four shapes, this one's a book. I love reading. Five, this is a star. Six, a soccer ball, so fun. Seven, this one's a heart. Ah! <laughs> and eight. <gasps> Whoa, this one's a crescent moon. So cool. Okay, here we're at the top. Whoa, I see some slides. How many slides do you see? I see one. Let's go down it. Whoa! <laughs> that was so much fun. Yeah. Okay, let's find another one. Oh, there's one. That's two slides. <laughs> Whoa, that was so much fun. Yeah, okay, let's go back up and see if there's any more slides to go down. Hey, do you like going down slides too? Cool. Okay, across the bridge and here's another slide. Whoa, bonk. <laughs> that was so fun. That's one, two, three slides. And hey, look at that. There's so many benches at the theater. Let's count how many benches there are. There's one, two, three. Oh, this is a good seat. Four, ooh, closer to the middle. And five, on the right side, this is great. And six, hmm, thanks for watching. <laughs> Seven, ooh, yeah, you can see so much from the back row. And eight. There are eight benches here. <laughs> so cool. So many benches for so many friends. Everybody can come and watch. Okay, into the ball pit. Whoa, under the bridge. Hey, how many colors of balls are there in the ball pit? There's one, two, three, four. Yeah, four colors. Red, yellow, green, and blue. Okay. Now let's see what else we can count. Ooh, look at these tires. There's one, two, three, four. <laughs> hey, I wonder if there are any more tires around here. Let's go check it out. Hmm, straight ahead. <laughs> Over to the other side, through the bushes, across the river. Two more tires. <gasps> Five, six tires. Wow, we found so many numbers today. <laughs> Thanks so much for counting with me today. It was so much fun. Bye bye Whoa, look at that massive skyscraper with a crane next to it. Right, Debo? I think it is helping build the building. Hmm, I wonder, how does a crane help build a building? Great idea! We'll go talk to the crane! I'm gonna need a grabber arm and extendo legs! Grabber arm, extendo legs, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Extendo legs up! Whoa! Hi, um, are you here to help me? Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Sure, I'll help. What's your name? It's Kareem, Kareem the Crane. It's my first big job today. 
I'm kind of nervous. I get it. Trying new things makes me nervous sometimes, too. We'll help you any way we can. I spin my mast, my tall body around, and then I extend my jib down. The jib is my long arm. Now I can use my hook to pick up these really heavy bricks. Whoa! I can't stop it swinging! Gotcha. Oh, thanks, Blippi. I'm still learning, but I'll figure this out. Now you can help me with the roof. It's that big glass square down there. Glass is very fragile. You got this. I'm doing it. I'm really doing it. Now, take it up, Kareem. Oh, goodness! Look out below! Huh? Got it! Now, let's finish the job. <laughs> yeah! Isn't helping Kareem so fun? <laughs> hey, we did it! And now I know the answer to my question. How does a crane help build a building? Cranes lift heavy materials so they can be used to construct super tall buildings. Upload answer, Debo. Yes. Thanks for everything, Blippi. Bye. Bye, Kareem. I knew you'd be an amazing crane. It's me, Blippi, and look, I'm here with my dino buddy, Tommy the T-Rex. Come on, let's go look for another dino egg. <laughs> Whoa, first we need to pick a shovel so we can dig up an egg so Tommy can have a friend. Yeah, maybe we should pick the Blippi shovel or the ball pit shovel or maybe the guitar shovel. <laughs> I think the Blippi shovel is perfect for me. Oh, hello there, T-Rex. <laughs> Whoa, looks like they're all grown up. Oh, hi, big Parasaurolophus. Whoa! <laughs> wow, that's so cool being close to a dinosaur. Whoa, hey, I wonder what kind of dinosaur egg we'll find. Oh, hello, sauropod. <laughs> Whoa, maybe we'll find a sauropod egg. I don't know. Hmm, <laughs> where should we dig? Well, maybe we could dig here? Hmm, nope, no eggs. <laughs> well, we can keep trying. And I bet we'll find one somewhere around here. Whoa, and this cave is so cool. Hey, do you notice all the spiky rocks? Yeah, the ones on the ground are called stalagmites, and the spiky rocks on the ceiling are called stalactites. Whoa, yeah, caves are pretty cool. <laughs> Whoa, hmm. but I don't see any more bats, huh. or any more eggs. Maybe there's an egg here. <gasps> Whoa, look, there is an egg, yeah. Whoa, we did it, we found an egg. Well, we better take this back to the dino egg hatch zone and see, we found a common egg. Bet if we keep digging, maybe we'll even find a rare one. Okay, here we go, <laughs> we're back to the dino egg hatching zone. Hi, Mika. Oh, well, I wonder how long it will take to hatch this egg. Well, we'll put it in the nest and see. Start hatching the egg, okay? Oh, whoa, we better go dig to hatch this egg too, come on. <laughs> oh, here we go, Tommy. Tommy the T-Rex, that's some fun digging. <laughs> but, hmm, finding a lot of dirt and rocks. <laughs> Whoa, we're, we're so close. Whoa, it looks like our egg is ready to hatch. <laughs> okay, let's see what kind of dinosaur it is. Whoa, check it out. Yeah, it was a baby Parasaurolophus. Aw. <laughs> I think I'll name you Poppy. Come on, Poppy and Tommy, let's go explore. Woohoo! Here we go! Whoa! Well, welcome to your new home. Check it out. <laughs> it's so pretty here and fun. Whoa, look, hey, Angie. <laughs> yeah, that's Angie the Argentinosaurus. Yeah, she's really big. <laughs> and since this is your first time here, let's go to the ball pit. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Whoa, this is so much fun jumping around. Whoa. <laughs> oh, well, thanks for helping us hatch Poppy, everyone. We'll see you later. Bye bye. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha
I hope Grandpa Blippy gets his birthday card in time. Hmm, I wonder, how does a letter get to where it needs to go? Great idea, Debo. We'll shrink down and follow the letters to find out. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. I wonder where all these letters and postcards are going. Whoa! Hi there, I'm Lana the Letter. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <coughs> Lana, we're wondering, how do letters like you get to where you need to go? <coughs> Whoa! What's happening? We're moving one step closer to our destinations. <laughs> Just stick with me. <coughs> Whee! Ooh. Ooh. Everybody, hold on! We're in for a bumpy ride! Lana, where are we going? We're being transported! Whoa! To Grandpa Blippi's mailbox? Not just yet, we're at... Oof. The post office! Whoa! The post office! So cool! Whoa! Oof. Now... It's time for us to get sorted. Sorted? How? First, by size. Just think like a letter, Blippi. Huh, yeah. Wee <laughs> Once us letters and packages are sorted by size, we are sorted to face the same way. Woo! Hey, that tickles. And then the letters are scanned for their stamps. Oh, no. But what if I don't have a stamp? I got you covered. Yay. Wait, where's Debo? <laughs> He's probably enjoying the ride, just like us. There you are, Debo. Where are we going now? To the mail truck! Hey, <laughs> the truck takes every letter to the exact mailbox it needs to be delivered to. So cool! Next stop, Grandpa Blippi's house! Whee! Bye, Lana. Thanks for helping us get around the post office. Bye, Blippi and Debo! What do we got here? A birthday card from Blippi? Hot dog! Aw, he loves it! And I got the answer to my question. A letter gets to where it needs to go by being dropped in a mailbox, transported to the post office, sorted, then delivered by a mail truck. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Woohoo! I'm looking for a jellyfish. Ertle, have you seen one? Hmm, I can't find it anywhere! <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and check it out. I'm here with my friend, Bertle the Turtle! Haha, <laughs> Bertle's so nice. And we're going on a scavenger hunt. Yeah, <laughs> Bertle's gonna help me find everything I need. Oh, but wait, this is an underwater scavenger hunt, which means I need my scuba gear! Woohoo! Ready to swim and dive and dance! Woo! Woo! <laughs> okay, Bertle, are you ready to go? <laughs> yeah, let's do it! Let's dive on in! Wow, look at the ocean! It's so beautiful here! Okay, let's see what we need to find. First, we need pink coral. Whoa, <laughs> Bertle's gonna help. Then we need to find a purple jellyfish. After that, we'll find some green seaweed. And finally, we need to look out for a blue marlin. Can you help us find all four of these things? <laughs> Great, and Bertle will help too. Okay, let's get to looking. <laughs> Whoa, look, yellow coral. Oh, oh, but wait a minute. We're not looking for yellow coral. We're looking for pink coral. Wait, I think Bertle sees some. Whoa, over there, look! Yeah! Pink coral! 
We found it! Oh, great job looking for it. <laughs> okay, let's move on to the next thing. Hmm, remember? We need to find a purple jellyfish. Whoa, Fertile has really great eyesight. <laughs> Whoa, what's that? <gasps> you found the jellyfish, Fertile! <laughs> yeah, look, there it is! The purple jellyfish. Hello, jellyfish! Hello! <laughs> so cute! Ooh. <laughs> wow, it's fun swimming around in the ocean. Look at all the bubbles. Hmm, what's that, Fertile? Oh, yeah, stay focused on the scavenger hunt. Oh, and look! I think I see something! Yeah! Actually, it's everywhere! Green seaweed! Whoa, there's one, two, three, four, a lot of leaves! <laughs> a lot of seaweed for sure! <laughs> more than I can count! Okay, there's only one more thing to find! Keep your eyes peeled! You need to find a really big, really fast blue marlin! Wait a minute! That's a fish, but that is not a blue marlin! It looks kind of pinkish purpley. <laughs> Wait, what's that, Ertle? <laughs> yeah, we did it! We found the blue marlin! Blue marlin are amazing fish. Yeah, they can grow up to 12 feet long and weigh over 2,000 pounds. Whoa, they're also one of the fastest fish. Oh, and this blue marlin looks so friendly. <laughs> See you later, blue marlin. Oh, now we're back on land. We did it. <laughs> we found everything we needed to in our scavenger hunt. Yeah, thanks for helping us explore. And thank you, Bertle. <laughs> You're awesome. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Wow, that bee sure seems busy. And so does that one. And that one too. They're all so busy. <laughs> well, except that one. Those bees are busy making honey. Hmm, I wonder, how do bees make honey? Yes, let's go into the beehive. I'm gonna need wings and the excavator arm. Wings, excavator arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Now, we just need to make like a bee and be tinier. Shrinking down! You're right, Tabs. The bee's tongue is in the flower. Hey, it's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. I was wondering how you make honey. Hey, Blippi, I'm Bijon. Honey, huh? This is the place to be. <laughs> so I'm using my tongue to drink in this sweet nectar. It's how we bees start to make honey. OK, time to buzz. Into the beehive. Follow me. Spoiler, lots of bees working. It's like a honey factory in there. <laughs> Bijon. Are they all chewing nectar? Sure are. Gotta chew, that's what we do. Chewing makes it thicker. Can't have runny honey. Ha, 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 I rhymed again. <laughs> and after you chew, then you have honey? No, no, there's more to show. We chew, then we swallow. The nectar stays in our bellies, becomes honey, then we put it in the honeycomb. The honeycomb? Yep, we store the honey in the honeycomb. <gasps> Maybe I can taste some honey. Oh dear. This may look funny, but flapping our wings is how we make thicker honey. <laughs> it's a bee thing. Whoa. Yes, Tabs, I have the answer to my question. How do bees make honey? They get nectar from flowers, chew it, store it in their stomachs, then put the honey in a honeycomb and flap their wings over it. Upload answer, Tabs. Bye, Bijan. Thanks for being you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! Whoa! Hey, Mr. Sorabon! Whoa! What a great roar you have! Hey, 
we're driving over some big bumps in the dino dig site. It's making the blippy mobile shake and rattle. Sounds like <laughs> These bumps are making my voice sound funny. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Blippi, and today we're going to learn about the five senses. The five senses are hearing, touch, smell, sight, and taste. Let's go explore and see what our senses can find. I'm so excited. Oh, whoopsies. <laughs> Looks like we bumped into that tree. Hey, the bark feels rough and kind of scratchy. <laughs> hmm. What's the opposite of rough? <gasps> Smooth, like a comfy blanket. Yeah! All right, let's go see now what we can smell. <laughs> Debo has a really strong sense of smell. Do you smell anything, Debo? It smells really sweet. Let's follow our nose and see what we can find. Look, it's coming from the chocolate factory. I love chocolate. Chocolate smells so sweet and so delicious. It's making me hungry. <laughs> All right, the next sense is sight. Let's go to the clubhouse and see what colors we can find. All right, Debo, it's time to look at some colors. What colors do you see? I see green, blue, yellow, and red ball pit balls. Whoa! And hey, I see all the colors of the rainbow on the rainbow ramp. So many colors! All right, Debo, let's go find something we can taste. Hey, look, it's a corn maze. Yeah! Corn is so good, and it's very healthy for you. Remember to eat your fruits and vegetables so you stay strong and healthy. <laughs> all right, corn maze, see you later. <laughs> hey! We found all five senses, and we couldn't have done it without your help. It was such a fun adventure. Thanks for helping us. Bye bye Fun in the sun? Here we come. Good idea, Tabs. I should put some sunscreen on first. Oh, no. I can't find it. Hmm. I wonder, why do I have to wear sunscreen? Oh no, is it really that important? What are we gonna do? No! Senor Super Sunscreen to the rescue! Whoa! Hola amigos, that means hello friends. Hey, it's me Blippi, and this is Tabs. Here, Blippi, hold out your hands. Okay. Even though sunlight is good for you, we need to make sure you're protected. Perfecto, Blippi. All right. Now we can finally have some fun in the sun. Uh-oh. Hey there, Boom. Blippi, you can't go play yet. You missed the spot. Huh? How can you tell? Here, look through these special sunglasses I made. Whoa, cool. That's the sunscreen working to protect you. The sun gives off extra strong beams of light called ultraviolet rays. Even though you can't see ultraviolet rays, too much can cause a sunburn. What's this spot? That's the spot you missed. I hold out your hand, Bleepy. All right. Oh, no. That person missed a spot, too. We must protect them with sunscreen. To the Blippi Mobile. Go, Blippi, go! I'm going to need helicopter blades and the harness. Helicopter blades, harness confirmed. Shrinking down. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Whoa! Save that sunbather from sunburn. All right, Tabs. 
Let's protect some skin. Senor Super Sunscreen to the rescue! More to the right, Tabs! Now left! We did it! Rowing up! Weppa! Nice job, Bleepy! Thanks for a super adventure, Senior Super Sunscreen. And I got the answer to my question. Why do I have to wear sunscreen? I have to wear sunscreen because it protects our skin from the ultraviolet light of the sun, which can cause sunburn. Upload answer tabs. Now, who's up for some fun in the sun? Yeah! Hello, it's me, Blippi. Today I'm looking for treasure. Hey, Matt the Bat, do you know where the treasure is? Over here? All right, here we go. <laughs> I'm so excited to look for some treasure. Look at this big dino dig site. I'm sure there's some treasure in here. Hey, I see a ladder behind that T-Rex. Let's climb up it and see what we can see. Up we go. <laughs> Whoa, is that a balance beam? Better be careful while we're crossing it. Whoa, 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 we made it up to the rock bridge. I wonder what's on the other side of this bridge. It's a, it's a treasure chest. Yeah, I can't wait to see what's inside. Hmm, I wonder, how am I going to open it? I think I'll need a treasure key. Hmm, now if I were a key, where would I be? Well, I usually dig for treasure, so why don't we try digging with our trusty dry shovel? Yeah, let's go. Nothing there. Let's go in deeper. Over the beam, down the ladder, and dig, dig, dig. Hmm, no key in here. I've been digging for hours. Better go ask Tabs for a clue. She's over at the treasure shack. Here we are at the treasure shack. Hey, Tabs, do you know where I could find the key to the treasure chest? What's that, Tabs? There's a secret room under the treasure shack? <laughs> All right, let's go find it. <laughs> yeah! Thanks, Tabs, you're the best. Is it behind, oh, another orange and blue ladder. Better climb down it. Whoa, good jump. I see a room and I see, I see a key. Yeah, I think this is the treasure chest key. Let's run back to the treasure chest and see if it fits. Okay, up the ladder and across the blue beam and across the orange beam and across the big rock bridge to the treasure chest! Oh, I wonder what's inside! It's a backpack! With a dino egg inside! That's so cool! Whew. I can't wait to get back to the clubhouse and show off my new treasure! But oh, I'm exhausted from a day of digging and the sun is so hot! Hey Parasaurolophus, thanks for the ride! <laughs> what a great day of digging for treasure! Thanks so much for finding treasure with me. Bye bye. <laughs> I don't think your guitar is working right, Debo. Hmm, I wonder, how does a guitar work? You're right, Debo. Let's go find out. <laughs> I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Sounded great! 
Please, I love it. Thank you. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. I'm picky. We were wondering how a guitar works. Can you show us? I can, but I can't work the guitar by myself. I'll need your help to play it right. Okay. When I pick a string, it goes back and forth really fast, which makes a note. Whoa. Whoa. You're right, Debo. My string is much thicker than yours. I bet it's harder to balance for you. The faster the string goes back and forth, the higher the note. <laughs> How do you make other notes on a guitar? That's why I needed your help. Hey, Debo, could you move towards the far end of the neck, mate? <gasps> now back towards me. <laughs> Solo! <laughs> well, that explains how different notes are made. Why does the guitar have such a big body? That's the part that makes it loud. Thank you. Hey, come stand over here on the soundboard. We're going up and down too. When I pluck the string, the whole guitar body vibrates, and the sound hole there makes it super loud, huh? like a, oh, like shouting while cupping your hands over your mouth. <laughs> Hello. Wow, that was loud. Right, practice is over. Time to jam. One, two, three, four. Thank, Thank you. <laughs> and now I have the answer to my question. How does a guitar work? Guitars work because the strings vibrate and make sound, which is made louder by causing the whole hollow guitar body to vibrate. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> bye bye, Picky. Bye, Blippi. Bye, Debo. Remember to always keep rocking. Debo, I don't think a cow goes oink. I think a cow goes moo. Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. <laughs> and we're learning about animals and the sounds they make. Can you help us? Great. Whoa, look, it's a cow. Do you know what sound a cow makes? <coughs> Moo. <laughs> Good job. Oh, and they love being pet. A pig? <laughs> I like pigs. Ooh, they make a sound like this. <coughs> yeah, that's right. Oink, 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 oink. <laughs> and they love belly rubs. <laughs> Well, enough horsing around. Oh, it's a horse. I love the sound a horse makes. <laughs> Nay! <laughs> oh, they love sleeping standing up. Whoa, hey, it's Tabs. Wait a minute, Tabs is a cat. Yeah, I bet we all know what sound a cat makes. Meow. That's right. Meow, meow. Woohoo, we did it. <laughs> That's all the animals. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. A <laughs> Debo, I almost forgot. Debo is a dog. I think we already know what sound a dog makes. <coughs> yeah. Ruff, 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 ruff. And dogs love playing fetch. Wow, we did it. We learned all the sounds. Bye bye. Holy smokes! A volcano! <coughs> That's right, Debo. When a volcano erupts, smoke and hot lava come out the top of it. Hmm, I wonder, what makes a volcano erupt? Great idea! We'll go inside a volcano and find out! I'm gonna need wings, spider legs, and the heat shield! Wings, spider legs, heat shield, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is Ready for adventure! Let's go through the side vent into the volcano! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, it sure is hot in here! Whoa! Hey there! I'm Maggie the Magma Monster! Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. 
We want to learn what makes a volcano erupt. You're in for a real treat, Blippi and Debo. Speaking of treats... <laughs> Below us, deep in the Earth, the planet's heat is melting rocks into liquid, also known as magma, like me. <laughs> You're right, Debo. It is like one of our favorite games. The floor is lava! Whoa! Magma becomes lava after it erupts out of the volcano. Whoa. So I guess I'm the floor. <laughs> Whoa! We're getting higher! That's because the more rocks melt below, the more magma rises here in the chamber. Hey, I wonder where this goes. Look out, Flippy! Magma! Phew! That was close! Maggie, you almost fill the whole cavern now. I sure do. And as I grow, the pressure inside the volcano builds until we push through the crust or the top of the earth. Hold on! Whee! Ah, much better. Maggie, what a blast! And I got the answer to my question. What makes a volcano erupt? A volcano erupts when the hot magma inside it builds pressure and bursts through the surface of the Earth. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun, Blippi. Hope you loved it. <laughs> <laughs> we did. Bye-bye, Maggie. Hello, it's me, Blippi. Today we're at the Dino Dig site. I'm so excited. Can you help me find all the Brontosaurus bones? Yeah! Come on! Let's go! There are so many to choose from! <laughs> hmm, I like the look of those down there. Let's jump! Whoa! Yeah! Okay, put the shovel in the dirt and scoop! <laughs> Nothing in there! That's okay, we'll try another one! Hmm, how about this one? Nothing in there. The other paleontologists must have already dug there. Let's go back up to the top and try another one. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, 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 dig. Dig, 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 dig. <laughs> Nothing in there. Let's keep trying. Don't give up. We're looking for brontosaurus bones. Oh, I think we found a bone. We did. It's our first brontosaurus bone. Good job! Let's keep looking for some more! We need seven more! Woo! An orange gemstone! Orange is one of my two favorite colors! Do you know my other favorite color? Yeah! It's blue! <laughs> Let's try this one over here! Hey! It's another bone! Yeah! I'm so excited! Okay! We have two bones! Hey, is that a tooth? Whoa, it's as big as my hand. Can you imagine having teeth the size of your hand? <laughs> That's a big smile. <laughs> now we have three bones. Just five more to go. Whoa, we're on a roll. We found another bone. Now we have four. I hope we find another one soon. Whoa, it's a blue dino egg. Whoa, we found another dino egg. It's got red stripes on it. I wonder what kind of dinosaur is inside. Whoa, that's five bones. If only Debo were here, he could sniff out the bones. He loves bones. <laughs> that's our sixth bone. Whoopsie, it looks like our backpack is full. It's getting really heavy. <laughs> Let's go visit Tabs' treasure chest to trade in some of our treasure! Hey Tabs, can I trade my treasure with you? Great! Whoa! We have so many tokens now! Let's go keep digging! We just need to find two more bones! Hey! It's a microscope! So cool! Dig, scoop, dirt. Dig, scoop, bones! We found seven bones! Let's try one up here in the sunshine. It's... could it be... 
It is! It is a dino bone! Yeah! We found eight brontosaurus bones! Thanks for helping me find all the brontosaurus bones! That was so much fun! I can't wait to come back and do some more digging! Well, alright! We'll see you later! Bye bye